There are some important considerations I want to make on final state machines and more in general on model-based testing. The first one is about applicability. Testing based on final state machines is a very general approach that we can apply in a number of contexts. And in particular, if you're working with UML, you have state machines for free because state charts are nothing else than a special kind of state machines. So you can apply the technique that we just saw directly on state charts and try to cover their states and their transitions. Another important point is that abstraction is key. You have to find the right level of abstraction. The bigger the system, the more you have to abstract if you want to represent it with a model and in particular with a fine state machine. So it's like having a slider and you have to decide where you want to move on that slider. The more you represent the more complex your system is going to be and the more thorough your testing is going to be but also more expensive. The less you represent, the less expensive testing is going to be, but also testing might not be as thorough as it would be otherwise. So you have to find the right balance between abstracting away too much and abstracting away too little. And finally, there are many other approaches. So we just scratched the surface and we just saw one possible approach. But for instance, other models that you can use are decision tables, flow graphs, and even historical models, models that can guide your testing based on problems that occurred in your system in the past. And also in this case, I'm going to put pointers to additional materials in the class notes.